Hi everybody, just a short video here. I wanted to show you what I made for my retreat table centerpieces. Now, when I do the retreat, one person at each table will get to win this and take it home, and there will be one on each table. So last year um, for the September retreat, I made some wool flowers, and this year I made some little sheep pin cushions, and I put them in these little jars. And I have candy and goodies in the jars, so I wanted to show you in detail these because the retreat starts in two days, and before I go, I wanted to show these to you. So this is not, first of all, this is not permanently attached. It has a piece of Velcro, white on the bottom of that, and black on that. So these jars are actually from Dollar Tree, and um, we painted the lids. My friend Lois painted these lids for me. They come silver, and she just put like a piece of tape here and the part where I was going to put the um, Velcro. So this is not permanent by any means. It's, you know, it's really wobbly as you can see, but I thought that I didn't want to permanently attach it in case whoever gets it wants to be able to take it off and just use this as a pin cushion. So I'll show you in detail here. So this is a, a pattern from Cottonwood Creations and well, I'm going the wrong way. So it, it's just made out of wool and you sew it around the head, of course, as a separate piece. And then you stuff this, and I stuffed it about two thirds of the way with um, lizard litter and then put fiber fill in the top. The head I just stuffed with the fiber fill. And then you put the head inside the neck part, like the neck part gets folded down and then you put the head in. And then I just used some hot glue to attach it instead of stitching. This is all done with hot glue, except for the seam on the body and the head. And then I took the little piece of wool and I um, just pulled a couple strands out all the way around so it would do kind of a little fringe. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you can see it right there. So, um, and then I just glued the little star on and that, that's all wool and then the matching scarf. And then the pins, my friend Lois did for me too. It's just a accounting pin to use or decorative and that just goes in there. And then the little tail and that is it. So as for the, these are really super easy to make and they're like four inches. Now, as for the jar, again, this is just Dollar Tree and we have inside some floss because our theme for the Smells Exchange is red, white, and blue. And then inside I got some red, white, and blue candy. So this shredded paper can see that is also from Dollar Tree and I just bought some red, some white, and some blue. And then there are seven of these all together and I just put them all together. So um, mixed the shredded paper all up and then put it in so it would be mixed up. So we have a Tootsie Roll Pop, we have Baby Ruth, we have some Lindor Truffles, and some Hershey Kisses with red wrappers and some Nestle Crunch Bars. So sticking all with the theme of red, white, and blue. And then the DMC floss goes in the top. And then just put the lid on. And that is the centerpiece. So that's how that goes. Hopefully they like it. Now, Lois also, because she's so generous, and I, it's over there, let me get it. So Lois had bought some fabric and she thought that it was like all the same kind until she opened it and they were all different. So these are all the different prints and she decided her generous self, because she's so helpful, she made these mats. Let me hold this back to go underneath of the jars like a table mat. So each one will have like this, a table mat sitting on it, or the jar sitting on the table mat. So, so kind of her, thank you, Lois. She's always a big help. And then these are the back. So she just um, sewed two squares together, you know, right sides together, then turn them right side out and iron it. And then she just did a straight stitch all the way around, quarter inch in, and that's it. So those are the centerpieces for the retreat. Hopefully they like them. See you on the next video, everybody. Give this a thumbs up if you like it. Bye.